G'day guys, Holy Critic back again with quick reviews. So, in the past couple of weeks I've been receiving a ton of positive feedback about the Sam Elliott action movie Avenger. Many of you have requested more of his work, so I got deep into the research and uncovered another rare gem. Excuse the pun here, because the movie I've chosen is quite literally about a gem. Let me explain. So Sam Elliott plays Harry Wingate, a private investigator from San Francisco who's been commissioned by a wealthy Australian to retrieve a highly prized opal gemstone nicknamed Blue Lightning. The issue is, the man who's in possession of it is an ex-IRA terrorist named Lester McAnally. He's assumed control of the small mining town Opal Ridge in outback New South Wales. Lester is an atypical tyrant who bullies the locals and rules with an iron fist. But with $100,000 at stake, Harry is not about to walk away, so eventually he travels down under. I must admit, it's such a strange oddity to see Sam Elliott strolling around Aussie landmarks. It's kind of like the reverse Crocodile Dundee if you catch my drift. Elliot's duck out of water persona sets up some interesting and comedic situations. He quickly teams up with a grieved widow with a score to settle named Kate McQueen. Together they embark on an epic adventure that sees them accosted by Lester's many goons along the way. Outnumbered and outgunned, Harry employs the help of an Aboriginal tribe to take down his evil empire. The Blue Lightning is not short on action. Almost too much at times, in often nonsensical ways. From car and plane chases to shootouts and standoffs, it's pure Pulp Fiction entertainment at its finest. But it has some serious deficits. Outside of Sam Elliott's swaggering, self-assured character, everyone else is rather one-dimensional. Perhaps worst of all is the cartoonish villain McAnally. Robert Culp's awful Irish accent and wooden acting was cringe-inducing at times. And the lack of a coherent story caused the movie to drag a lot towards the end. The characters were really underdeveloped and the romantic chemistry between the leads felt forced. With that said, I struggle to give it a final rating above two halos out of five. One for Sam and one for the action and that's about it. It has all the right ingredients, but with poor execution, unfortunately. An Australian movie that was done right, in my opinion, was Quigley Down Under, starring Tom Selleck and Alan Rickman. I highly recommend you watch it, because it's better in just about every single way. Alright, so, thanks for watching yet another episode, and tell me in the comments below what your favourite Aussie movie is. Um, I've got a few more Sam Elliott movies in the pipeline, so stay tuned in the coming weeks, and don't forget to click the notification bell next to subscribe so you can stay right up to date. Enjoy your movie on Wednesday, and this is Holy Critic, signing out.